Hi folks, it's uh, Colt2442 of the Cloud9 Vaping Forum, um, also known as Alan. Um, this is a <coughs> redo of a video I did yesterday. Um, I wasn't happy with the quality it uploaded with for some unknown reason, but also I want to add a bit to it, which I think I missed out yesterday. Um, the threads about dripping atomizers um, and one of the questions that seems to or that you see around the forum not just on cloud nine but a few concerning dripping atomizers is what's the difference in performance about with the different atomizers um, so me being having uh, fiddle about iters I, uh, I've got my drippers together not I've got many and I've got nothing high end, they're all sort of you know, run of your mill um, drippers, I've got four of them and this video is to try and show the difference in performance from one dripper to another um, now for this purpose I've obviously wanted to make sure all my coils and my wicks are exactly the same so for my coils I've been wrapping my coil around this now this was donated by the wife, a very good friend. Um, it's I've been informed it's a cable knitting needle. Now I haven't got a bloody clue what that is. Maybe someone does. I don't know. I don't really care. It does the job. Um, I'm wrapping the coil around this. I'm using 30 gauge Canthal, 4 5 wrap. Um, I then mount the coil on the dripper. I then pull the wick through, which I'm just about to show you, which should be good for a laugh. We'll have a go anyway, won't we? Uh, let's move the cam down a bit. Right. Hang on, let's just adjust the focus. Where are we? There's the coil mounted on the dripper. Now, all I've done is a little bit of cancel formed into a loop with the wick through it like that, which I've got to do this cack handy, folks. Should be interesting. <sighs> Which you then feed through your coil like this. And then all you do is just gently tug. And that's it. One wick through coil. Job done. Okay, let's just bring that can back up. Oh my god, I look better like that. Right, okay, so, you know, wick's in now. Um, and now, basically, you can just play around with a wick. Get it how you want it laid out in the dripper. Um, I'd like to try and get as many um, sort of coils into the bottom of the dripper as I can without it sort of causing too many problems. And you can't cut silica wick with blunt scissors, it don't work. Right, yeah, bear with me a minute, folks. I'm just sorting this one out. Get in there. Now, I like drippers. Um, one, because I do mix my own juices. And it's nice for testing flavours out. Um, one thing I've been uh, thinking about, again, with drippers, is the foam that goes into um, cartomizers and that. 
Uh, I'm wondering if a wedge of that could be put in the bottom. And we wick underneath it. It'd probably hold a little bit more. That's something for another day. Um, right, I'm using a different juice from yesterday because I used all that up. I was using homemade watermelon. This one is uh, okay. Homemade cinnamon Danish. Now, again, for the purpose of this test, I'm using them. No, I'm not. I'm not using them on that. Idiot. I'm using them on a Pavari, which is set in power mode. And it is set. I forget what I was running at it on the previous one. But at the moment, I've got it set at 8 watts. I might have to adjust that. Right. And the coil that I've just done, hmm, that's unusual. Right, that is showing at 1.4, which is what I'd expect. All the others are around about 1.4, 1.3, if I've got it a little bit tighter. Um, which is the thing, wrapping it around that cable needle does, it gives you exactly the same size every time. Um, so all you've got to worry about is how many wraps you've put on, and I'm using a 4.5 wrap on here. So let's stick a bit of juice on and we'll uh, see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, Wix just decided to ping out of the uh, the uh, dripper, which is great fun. Juice everywhere. Right, as you've seen from the video, I've got someone sitting next to me who's giving me some barracking. Right. Okay. Sticky hands. Let's see how we go. As you can see, plenty of vapour out of that. Need to put a bit more juice in. Not my memory, I'm leaking juice everywhere. Well, it might be sweat, but it's so sticky. There you go, nothing wrong with that. And that's the uh, IGO W, which can be set up for dual wicks, which I haven't, for, for the purposes of the I've kept them all single wick. Nothing wrong with that. all over me ammo. Okay, this is uh, this ammo set in power mode at 8 watts. Right, and here's another one. Um, I was given this. Um, it has been identified as a well, it's got different names all around the bloody world, really. Um, but it's not a bad little trip as it happens. So again, same same wick, same method of making the coil. Mm 
You see, not bad. Needs a bit more juice in it as well. What's that, mate? As you can see, this one's plenty of vapour, plenty of taste as well. One thing with drippers, they do tend to give you a more intense flavour than um, most other ratties. I don't quite know why, but they do. Um, I'm sure everyone will recognise that. Known as the octopus and different things all around you know most sites carry one similar to it but they've all got different names again plenty of, plenty of vapour, plenty of flavour I think I've slightly flooded this actually so it's not performing the moment. See that. Why is it? You can see. Again, coils made exactly the same way. Um, you know, if you like low resistance. Vaping, you can use the 30 gauge cancel. I say I've used it there around that cable needle, uh, four or five wraps, and uh, I'm getting 1.4 ohms. I mean, if you want to go lower than that, obviously, um, use less wraps, or if you want more wraps on there, use. Uh, 28 gauge cancel, but a bit of advice for 28 gauge cancel. It's something I would only recommend for people that know what they're doing. Um, it's very easy to get an extremely low ohm coil and do your device some severe damage um, with the possibility of an exploding battery. That's an extreme, I know, but it's possible. Um, if you use 28 gauge. Um, on there, I'd be putting around about seven or eight wraps at least, um, and there's a possibility it'll still be sub sub one ohm. Um, so you're gonna have to be on a mechanical, not electrical. Right, it's another I go. As you can see. Perfect, flavour's gorgeous. You do actually get the flavour of your juices with a dripper. Um, I do tend to use them a lot when I'm mixing up different uh, batches of juice or if I've purchased a load of different flavours in sample bottles because it's so quick to change flavours. Um, but that's it, folks. Um, probably waffled as usual. Um, I hope it people find it useful and helpful and with a bit of information as well. As all, always uh, take care and stay safe.